cheers for Lord Buckley and his court. First, Lord Buckley, come out here. Now, where? This is Lord Buckley. Wayne and Schuster are going to work with him tonight. This is John Wayne, Frank Schuster. Where do you want them to sit, Your Lordship? Well, I'll have a seat from the end here. And uh, his lordship there. Now, Trudy Adams, you come out here. He wants a girl to oh, participate with him. This is Trudy Adams. And your majesty, won't you join us? That's the best offer I've had in some How about time. that, my dad? Well, we're going to have a little pup go down here. His grace will have a very charming hunting bonnet there. <laughs> this is called the sneaker. Yeah, that's a very sharp thing. That's because the latest thing, the meditation bonnet. <laughs> it's all very charming. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to do some mass pantomimicism for you. And through these four charming people, I will project or transmit four different and distinct voices through them. Each and every one of them will be given an individual voice to pantomime. They themselves will not say word one, but when they hear the voice, they lunge to them, coming through the microphone, they will move their lips, eyebrows, nose, face, you can't yours, and whatnot, in a pantomimic manner. Now, the young crown prince here, without the voice of Andy, very deep voice, when it hits, he will synchronize, he's also be, uh, well, Jack, you've got to stay right on the track and everything's cool. Solid, dear boy. Stay <laughs> there. Well, now the voice of Brother Crawford, the official type. When it hits the beam, you'll synchronize, he's also be, well, I dare say everything will be fine and dandy, so we'll get charge of it. Yes. Cuckoo. Her Highness the Queen. Well, now the voice of Madam Queen, a very high type. When it hits the beam, she will synchronize her luscious lips. And the results will be, da, I told you cats a hundred times, everything is fine and dandy. Cuckoo, Your Highness. His Majesty, ladies and gentlemen. We'll have the voice of Amos, Rossby type. When it hits, he will swing. The results will be, well, Jack, you've got to stay on the track. You ain't never going to get back there, so I've done stayed on 12 years. Solid if you're great. Heads up. Watch it carefully. It is now Little Theater. Ah, oh, the very, very, very relaxed indeed. And Brother Amos speaks first. Well, hit me to some man. How is the missile business jumping lately? Is it in the groove? Well, they monkeying around pretty good there, left and right, you know what I mean. Well, I'm going to tell you one thing, them monkeys is pretty smart. Yeah. Their Congress done appropriate $1,122 million. What's that for? Get a monkey force academy. They're going to turn everything over them cats. Yeah. Well, I'm hip there right on the beam. I'm hip, you hip, baby. No, I'm hip, you hip, I'm hip, daddy. Now, I'm hip that you hip that I'm hip, you hip, hip, hip. Oh, man, oh, man. That's what I say. And I'm going to tell you some other good news. What's that, Daddy? Because any news you're going to put on me, I'm going to pick up on. I'm hip, baby. Hip, hip. <laughs> I'm going to tell you something, baby. I've got this on the inside wire that the monkey scientists is getting together and building rockets to send a man to the moon. Ain't that crazy? It stops me. Yeah. <laughs> Why, when you get right down to it. Uh, by the way, Crawfish, what's on your mind now, dear boy? Uh, how you been a-feeling since you've been on the way? Well, to say the truth, my lad, I've been feeling much better. But I can well remember the time. Yes. When I would wake up in the morning. Uh-huh. With a horrible hangover. Oh, yes. Have a cup of coffee. <laughs> and like a fool, I'd try a glass of water. <laughs> and like a sucker, I would light a cigarette. Oh, yeah. He's a bum. Uh-huh. <laughs> I thought I was going to have to give you the countdown there. Well, if I'd had my flaps down, I'd have made it. Yeah. I've never seen such a groovy night in all my bone days. Sitting here in front of all the million cats and kitties with the king of the television, Mr. Sullivan. You sure look sharp tonight, Daddy. Baby, I won't tell you something, sugar. What's that, honey child? You is sure a sweet-looking chick. Is I, Daddy? Yeah. <laughs> you sure is, sugar. And I'm going to give you the wildest kiss you ever received in your bone day. What?